In this lecture, you're going to see the read uncommitted transaction isolation level in action. If you want to follow along with me, do it exactly like what I'm going to show you. So there are no surprises later on. First, I'm going to close both these sessions because I want to start from a blank canvas. So let's open a new connection. This simulates one client. Now let's open another connection. And here's our second client. Now in the first session, first, let's use the SQL store database. Then we're going to set the transaction isolation level to read uncommitted. With this isolation level, we'll be able to read uncommitted data. So we're going to have dirty reads. Then let's select points from the customer's table where customer ID equals one. Now let's go to the second session. Here, once again, we're going to use the SQL store database. We're going to start a transaction. And in this transaction, we're going to update the points for this customer. So update customers, set points to 20, where customer ID equals one. And finally, we're going to commit. Now, before executing any of these scripts, let's look at our customer's table and see how many points this customer has. So here's our customer's table. Our first customer has 2,293 points. Beautiful. Now let's go to the first session. We're going to execute line one. Then we're going to set the transaction isolation level. So the next transaction is going to have this isolation level. But here we don't have a start transaction statement because as I told you before, every single statement that we execute, MySQL wraps that statement inside of a transaction and automatically commits that. Now here we're not modifying any data, but this select statement is still executed inside of a transaction. Okay. Now we're not going to execute this line. Instead, we're going to go to the second session. First, we're going to use our SQL store. Then we're going to start a new transaction and update the points for this customer. Now we haven't committed the changes at this point, but if we go back to the first session, because we set the isolation level to read uncommitted, this select statement will read uncommitted data. Take a look. So execute. Now we have 20 points, but as you saw earlier, this customer should have 2,293 points. Now here's the problem. In this transaction, we are reading the points as 20. We might make a decision based on this value, but what if in the first transaction, this commit never happens for whatever reason, maybe the server crashes or the transaction explicitly rolls back. So let's roll back. Now, in our first transaction, we're dealing with a value that never existed in the database. This is the problem with dirty reads. So to recap, read uncommitted is the lowest isolation level. And with this level, we may experience all concurrency problems. 